Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at AWS Landing Zone, which helps enterprises quickly set up a secure AWS multi-account. Now, I have enterprises in red there because if you read the marketing page, it doesn't say that it's for enterprises, but it definitely is because uh, from what I remember, it has a very expensive upfront cost, okay, which, but for enterprises would be a very little. So it's not gonna be for the small to medium-sized startups, but the purpose of AWS Landing Zone is to provide you with a baseline environment to get started with multi-account architecture. So what does that mean? Well, the idea is that you have these uh, companies and uh, AWS recommends that you run in multi-account, but they don't know how best to, the, the company itself doesn't know how best to set up multi-account and make sure it's secure and 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 good for future growth. And so Landing Zone is basically uh, that uh, um, uh, set up for you, okay? And the way this all works is through AWS Account Vending Machine, also known as AVM, which automatically provisions and configures new accounts via a service catalog template. Uh, and uh, the way you're gonna access these accounts is gonna be using single sign-on, um, okay? And so the environments here are customizable to allow customers to implement their own account baselines through a landing zone configuration and update pipeline, okay? So now that we have an idea, let's go take a peek at the landing zone page. So here we are on the AWS Landing Zone marketing page. I just want to scroll down here for you so I can just show you that they have some architectural diagrams here to give you an idea what you are getting with Landing Zone. So here it says the solution includes four accounts. Uh, Add-on products can be deployed using AWS Service Catalog. So when you uh, get this, you're going to get four accounts. You're going to get uh, this uh, master account here. Uh, then you're going to have a shared service account, log archive account, and security account. So when you are setting up your AWS um, uh, uh, organizations, you should always have a login account and should also have a security account that are isolate from your other accounts because it's just good for... Uh, for auditing purposes, okay? And so AWS is giving you the best setup uh, possible by uh, doing that for you, all right? And so when you need additional accounts, then you use that account vending machine, okay? And so that account vending machine will just uh, create new accounts for you. Um, and so that's really all you need to know about a landing zone, that it is uh, giving you a, a, a baseline environment, and then it's going to allow you to add additional accounts that are going to be secure, uh, uh, with a lot of other uh, good best practices uh, baked into them, okay?